What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico, smooth as ice, twice and ice, and I'm back with another video. So yesterday I reacted to part one of this video. The title reads, Mandela did not steal country resources like current president, which Julius Malema was actually talking about Ramaphosa. So we about to finish this. You guys love part one. Smash that like button on this one too, just like y'all went crazy yesterday. I really appreciate y'all, bro. Y'all been going crazy. Let's get into this, man. And children to get free education from when they turn three they must go to early childhood development because we always say children of white people are clever than our children it's not true oh yeah sure white ain't. people take their children to school at an early age we take our children to school when they are old exactly old. so they just you know a little ahead of them in terms of learning that's about it most of them start seeing education at seven years and they must compete with a white child who saw education at three years mm. they must go replay poker hey he, he cooking man as many of you have Yo, seen julius is cooking free of charge and not far from their homes because they are too young, which means there must be crutches in each and every ward. And if the ward is big, we'll subdivide it mm. and make crutches available where the mothers can take their children and come and collect them free of charge after school. Because without education, we are going to be slaves forever. Oh, yeah. When you go to primary, when you go to high school, you must go free of charge mm. because we can afford that education. Yo, but I didn't go lie, Julius. You were just talking a few months ago about all politicians talking about free education a campaign. I hope this ain't just another campaign tactic, bro. You better actually, if you become president, impose that. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, free education, bro. I went to high school here for free. I didn't get to pay until, you know, I was, we were actually paying. And then Michelle Obama changed some law and then we started getting free lunch and you stopped paying. It was like $600 or $100, something like that. Then Michelle Obama changed some law. She changed the lunch that we were getting at school and also that we didn't have to pay for school no more. Only that. We must give you school uniform free of charge mm. no child must buy a school uniform because they say education is free right but then they say go and buy school uniform <laughs> and when you don't have school not uniform, you can't they come turn to school. you away right so we come want on, man. to give you everything a child must just walk into school and just learn mm -hmm. they must not have a trouble of saying you don't have uniform you don't have school shoes then so they I say where will the money come and from? you know what that does too to some of these kids guys y'all tell them oh you gotta go to school but well you can't come here because you don't have a uniform so we're gonna kick you then they start doing odd jobs the girls might want to have you know little boyfriends sugar daddies or whatever so they could get money for school stuff the boys might want to go steal do stuff like this so it's like it affects a bunch of stuff bro not just stuff that we see on a surface level or talk about it it affects other stuff too from i say we'll go and take money from the same place where you are taking money and buying prisoners uniform for free mm. if you can talk to them uniform for free right it means you can buy our children Ooh, uniform wee. for free i never even thought about that i've never made that comparison you know i say nothing too deep it's pretty simple but at the same time that's a good analogy good example by julius again but for real you can provide prisoners with uniforms but not students you can kick the students out why don't y'all kick the prisoners out then <laughs> like what bro what is so important about prisoners i mean they are in prison even when their clothes get torn apart we should care less we should like, care on, more bro. for children who don't want to go to prison they chose school over prison why are children not eating breakfast at school but prisoners eat breakfast mm. why our children are not wow. eating a uh, supper but prisoners have got supper if you want a reliable meal 
you must go to prison. You are going to have supper. You are going to have... Y'all know what's crazy? It's actually some people who do that. Some homeless people. I don't talk to a homeless man before. Say he went to jail, bro, because he was out here homeless. Even, even after I met him, he was homeless. But he said sometimes, especially when he gets cold outside, like the winter time, might commit a little petty crime, get locked up for a few months, be in there, be warm, have a place to lay his head and a meal to eat, bro, in the morning and nighttime, which is insane, my nigga. Like, you're going to jail because you don't have anywhere to sleep or you don't have food to eat just so you could be able to survive. Have breakfast, you're going to have lunch. On purpose, bro. Yeah. In Chivalbet, Lutulu, you are not sure where the next meal is going to come from. Prison does not even experience load shedding. They don't have load shedding in prison. They bought them generator. Mm. You are experiencing load shedding. You don't have water in your own areas in the village and township. The water is there reliably in prison. Many of our people still go to the pit toilet. They don't have a flushing toilet. There is no prison without a flushing toilet. Yet, you are not a prisoner, but you are living Western prisoners. The A Insane, bro. Diabolical. And it's, just, it's not just happening in South Africa. This is happening even outside of Africa in certain countries, bro. Like, some of these leaders just be so corrupt. Some of these decisions, like, look at the U.S. You know how much money they spend on the military per year, bro? Not even, not just the, just the equipment, whether it's the jets, the guns, the tanks, and all that. Like, look that up, bro. But it's still people out here, a bunch of people that's homeless, a bunch of people living in poverty, too. Some of those funds could be used towards something. Has treated you for 30 years. Worse than prisoners, we want to restore your dignity as people. We want to build proper RDP houses with a nice design, three bedroom, with a dining room, mm. with a kitchen, and it must have inside flushing toilet. There is electromagnetic energy in that Yo. pyramid between two. Why? There is no single white person, including a hobo white person, who goes to toilet that doesn't flush. <laughs> it is only us, even those oh, blacks man. who claim they have arrived, mm. but they still have outside toilet which does not flush. I'm saying to you, and then a white stanking, bro. Hobo... the latrines. Oh my God, they be stinking, bro. Ooh, thank God I ain't gotta use one no more, my boy. Sheesh. Oh, doesn't go to a toilet that doesn't flush because they can be a wobo, but they will never compromise their dignity of being human. Human, mm. we are being treated worse than animals, and we allow that. So, when you vote on the 29th of May, you must know that you don't have toilet. A white wobo never goes to an outside toilet. Worse with white hobos. Worse. And I'm not telling you fiction. I'm telling you something you can no fiction all when facts. you go to town on your own. Mm. White hobos don't sleep on the street. When it's the night, they go to the cheapest accommodation of 50 rand or 100 rand. One of them once asked me for 100 rand and it was late already around 6. So I say, come here. Why do you want 100 rand? He says, no, I've been trying to raise money today. I failed. I need 100 rand because there is a place there where we sleep is cheap. We pay 100 rand. Okay, why not sleeping outside here because you are homeless? Mm. He said, because there, there is a hot water. So I can't shower in the morning. If there is no hot water. Hey, it makes sense. Even a white wobo knows that wa hot water is a necessity. You are not speaking about hot water. You are speaking about just getting water. Literally, We're bro. We're not going to hot. 
You are just want water. We ain't even asking for the cold, ice cold water to drink. We ain't asking for hot water to bath. We just want some water, bro. And can't even get the bare minimum. Still at receiving water for drinking and for survival. The bare minimum. Who knows his rights more than us as human beings, which should be saying we can see everything but not what we can see everything but not a flashing toilet mm -mm -mm. only an animal must drop it and still see it mm. you can't drop it and still see it if you drop it and still see it you are being treated like a cow the anc hey. has been treating you he said like it. voting cattle and this he is said it the anc is treating y'all like cows out here bro and I, I get it, bro. I get it. I get it, bro. The time where you must go and teach them a lesson on the 29th of May. We don't have proper roads. We don't have street lights. We don't have the parks that are proper. For sure, they call this thing a stadium. But when you go to town, there is no stadium that looks like this. Uh -huh. When you go to town, there is no road that is worse than our roads. Mm. When you go to town, every street has got a street light. We don't have the most basic things that reflect human settlement. Because we must not say houses. We must say human settlement. Mm. Human settlement means where human beings can settle. What is required for human beings to be settled? You have to give them water, give them tar road, give them electricity before you build RDP houses. The ANC goes into a bush and build RDP houses and come and take you from the back rooms where there is flashing toilet and electricity into a bush and make you clap hands that they've given you RDP houses. It might be an RDP house. But it's not a place for human settlement. Mm. Where is the school? Where is the clinic? Talk to them. Because Where's all the they... stuff that we need? Where are the stores where we need food to eat? Hey, that boy was cooking. You give me occupancy of this house. What if I become sick in the evening? Where am I going to go? All of that must be taken care of before you settle in those places. Yo, you really want to hey. be a seat. Julius said everything he had to say in this video. I ain't got to say too much. Sun Sun just came over here. So look, man, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you guys go check out the video, the OG video. Link will be in the description. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let me know who y'all voting for, bro. The time is here. It's coming up in a few days. Well, what, two weeks? Two, three weeks? You guys will be voting. So let me know who y'all voting for in the comment section. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.